नमस्कार आई एम अंकन नंदन अरविंदन यू होस्ट फॉर द डे एंड दिस इज अ स्पेशल सीरीज फॉर डायबिटीज पर चर्चा हैपनिंग एट जियो कन्वेंशन सेंटर मुंबई वेल वी हैव विद अस रेनाउंड एंडोक्रिनोलॉजिस्ट डॉक्टर प्रमीला खलरा फ्रॉम बेंगलोर वेलकम डॉक्टर हेलो हेलो गिव मी प्लीज गिव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट यू फॉर द ऑडियंस या सो थैंक्स फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी हियर I am Dr. Pramila Kalra. I am Professor and Head Department of Endocrinology, Ramaya Medical College and Hospitals, Bangalore. Doctor, my question to you is: When we start with diabetes, there are three different areas. Yes. One is medication, diet, and exercise. How important is this for the people? Yes, it is a very, very important and a pertinent question. So when we talk about diabetes treatment the first and foremost thing is that it is a comprehensive management so it is not just medication or it is not just lifestyle modification or it is not just one thing which makes a difference it's an amalgamation of everything which is very important right. so when we start treatment for a patient with diabetes the first thing we have to tell them is they have to regularly follow the lifestyle they have to follow the diet and exercise along with that they have to take their medications regularly and they have to follow up because many a times the patients have this impression that once i start the medicines i don't need to follow diet control i need not do any exercise i can okay. just relax mm -hmm. so we need to tell them that everything is important and when everything is done together then only the glucose control is good and then only they lead a healthy life and also along with that there are many other factors like counseling talking to the patient mental health these are all other things which needs to be taken care of wonderful doctor my second question to you is what are the complications of diabetes and how dangerous it is and how to tackle it see diabetes itself is not so dangerous the complications which happen because of diabetes are more dangerous actually okay. So if you see diabetes can affect various organs of our body it can affect the eyes it can affect the kidneys mm -hmm. it can also affect the nerves okay. it can also affect our blood vessels and can cause damage to the heart and the brain as well okay. so diabetes can affect almost every organ of our body mm -hmm. and when the glucose values are high it causes further damage to all these organs and that is why it is very very important that when a patient has been diagnosed with diabetes they also need to be told okay. that every year mm -hmm. they have to check all these organs so that if there is any damage happening mm -hmm. it can be taken care of okay. and the most important factor to prevent the damage to these organs is to keep the glucose under good control okay. and obviously to monitor for all the other comorbidities like high cholesterol value hypertension and other things as well okay wonderful doctor <laughs> my third question to you is how to detect diabetes and how to monitor it further this is very important because the most unfortunate part is many of the patients who have diabetes don't know that they have diabetes exactly. so it is recommended that anybody who is above the age of 35 so should at least get their blood glucose values checked once if on a routine checking if anybody has a random glucose value which is beyond 100 mm -hmm. it is justified that they do a proper test to check for diabetes the test which we do is called as ogtt oral glucose tolerance test okay. where we give 75 grams of glucose we do a fasting glucose value and if the fasting blood sugar value or the blood glucose which we call crosses 126 or more or after glucose value crosses 200 or more then we say that the patient has diabetes one of these values are beyond the target patient fits into the criteria of diabetes okay. there is another way to diagnose diabetes which is a hba1c which is an average blood glucose of past 3 months and if it is more than equal to 6.5 okay. it classifies as diabetes diagnosis it is also very important that even if the patient has just have some symptoms suggestive of diabetes like they are feeling hungry they are losing weight or they have infections and the random glucose value has crossed 200 mg per dl that's another way of how we diagnose with the symptoms and these patients also need further management and further monitoring and also if the patient has been diagnosed as diabetes they also need to be follow up for these values over a period of time and when we want to monitor and say that the glucose control is good the hba1c has to be kept for most of the patients minimum below 6.5% and the fasting glucose value should be kept around 100 to 110 even less than 100 is good for younger people okay. and for the postprandial values we preferably try to keep them within 160 mg per dl 
but if we keep them even 140 to 160 for younger people it is good for them and also monitoring has to be done not only in the lab but can also be done with a glucometer okay. and patients can check the glucose values at home also mm. and that's a very good method to check there are other methods available to check the glucose values like continuous glucose monitoring systems where patches are available which can be put and patient can get a 14 day record with those patches so those are other modalities which are being used thank you doctor the last piece of advice for the viewers please so my piece of advice is that we need to understand that only diagnosis is not very important it is also very important that you follow with your doctor regularly because once you know that you have diabetes you also need to see that your glucose values are kept under good control you are monitored for all the complications and you keep your HbA1c and your glucose values under control. Thank you. Thank you very much, Doctor, for your valuable message. I hope you know, it will be benefiting the viewers. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. To know more about the diabetes and to control it, please log on to Diabetes Per Charchar, our Facebook page. And we are also available in YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you. Thank you.